Well, hello again from Kingston. It seems that every week has a landmark event, and this week's was the placement of the last concrete girders to close the gap with both shores. So uh, let's go and have a look. Before we do that, let's have a look at some of the other events. Right at the beginning of the week, on a smoky, hazy morning, the last Walters cabins left sight. But iron workers have continued to be engaged on site, removing lift tabs and placing bolts and other features on the steelwork. Early in the week, work was also going on around Pier 17, where the steel structure will meet the concrete. In the haze from the northern wildfires, work could also be seen taking place at Pier 20, the other end of the steel structure. Nearby, although we missed it happening, it became very apparent that the pedestals on Pier 21 had been poured and wrapped to cure. But all eyes were on Piers 16 and 17, where it was expected that girders would arrive to fill the gap. Once the last two, linking 15 to 16, had been placed. Those two arrived, numbers 79 and 80, on Monday afternoon. Once again dominating the west side preparation area. Early on Tuesday morning, they made their way down onto the causeway, where the now well-rehearsed activity of lifting them into place began. Attaching the lift cables at either end, and then making the initial move, allows the tractor or prime mover to clear out of the way. Then, with smooth, precise movements, they're lifted into place. Guides at either end ensure inch-perfect accuracy of placement. Before you know where you are, another section is complete and the trucks are ready to roll home. On Wednesday, three more of DCAS's Knights of the Road, Mike, Steve and Jim, delivered their loads, girders 81 to 83. Bright and early on Thursday morning, girder number 81, the first to bridge the gap, was lifted into place. It didn't take a whole lot of wrangling into place. at either end. It was certainly good to see the first of the, uh, the final concrete girders on the west side in place. And it wasn't very long before girder number 82, the second in line, was in place. Number 83 was lodged equally efficiently. On the west end, as the week began, you could see that the section of concrete laid by the Gomaco machine last week was now under a thermal insulating blanket, curing. And a considerable effort continued to be made by the ABF team to lay rebar. The sheer quantity of precise, painstaking work cannot be overstated. The opportunity presented itself during the week to have a good close look at the Gomaco machine. Essentially, two units operate in concert, one laying the main roadway and the other laying the multi-use pathway. The Gamaco machine had another run out this week, with a layer of concrete added to section 2, complementing that uh, already laid last week. Nearby, work on the green wall is taking place, using engineered coconut matting. The amount of work that is taking place from the West End is evident in the number of deliveries that appear. This was one load of rebar, and these are side rail supports. 
and we must not fail to mention a delivery of drainage pipes for the later sections of the concrete bridge, some of which were installed during the week. The considerable effort to place concrete slabs dictated the arrival of two consignments from DCAST this week. But we should look at the east end too. Steady work to pack the east abutment with the necessary rebar must surely result in the arrival of ready mix trucks and a concrete pumper any day now. Up near Highway 15, work is constant, with trucks coming and going and survey activity taking place all the time. There's been work too for a bulldozer, sorting the margins of the highway. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm just about ready for some wildlife to relax. But before we go there, let's have a look at the vessel that transited the lift bridge on Saturday. The Kawartha Voyageur, a 122-foot vessel, undertakes five-day cruises to Ottawa, and she proved the ability of the uh, crossing to cope last Saturday. But now it's definitely time for some wildlife. Well, that's another week in the bag. Please remember, if you enjoy the videos, consider subscribing and look out for notifications. Thanks for watching.